fundamental challenge that Iran poses is not just to Israel or only to Israel. It's a challenge, uh, and some of you have heard me say this before, it's a very different kind of challenge. Because I am convinced, and many of my colleagues in, in the Washington national security community are convinced, that if Iran gets a nuclear weapon, then there will be other countries in the Middle East that will get a nuclear weapon. Turkey, probably. Egypt, probably. Saudi Arabia, probably. Emirates, probably. Or maybe pick two out of the four or three out of the four. Now, what does that mean? You will now have contiguous nuclear states, nuclear weapon states, from Istanbul to Pyongyang. I won't go through the geography. You can figure it out. What does that mean? That means that if any country goes on nuclear alert, think India, Pakistan, every other country goes on nuclear alert. The Russians will go on nuclear alert. The Chinese who are the Indians' neighbors will go on nuclear alert. We'll go on nuclear alert. And then it takes, I used the colorful word yesterday, I won't use it today, it takes one mistake. That's the challenge to the world. That's not a challenge to Israel. And my concern, my very deep concern, is that the perception is that this is an Israeli problem. It's, yes, it's an Israeli problem, but you know, if you, if you believe that Israel can deter Iran and there's a debate over that, then many people will say it's not a problem at all. And that's a huge mistake. So in that respect, Israel actually has to be less important 